Hey, what's going on everyone? Hawks21 here back with another Splinterlands video. So we got a pretty big alpha drop in the Splinterlands Discord recently from Cryptomancer. Um, and he revealed what is the current thought of the of a new dragon summoner that will be coming to the game along with the other soulbound reward cards. We got a ton of information from this drop, and I'm gonna cover all of that in this video. But before I do, just a reminder, I am Hawks21, and I cover Splinterlands here on the channel. If you are new to the community and enjoy this type of content, it would be awesome if you could take a second to subscribe to the channel. It would be greatly appreciated as we continue to uh, build up this community. Okay, so in the town hall, we were, we, we were told about this, I think, Lamator is what they called it. And this was going to be the new Fire Summoner, I believe it was revealed in the Town Hall, that is going to have the Conscript ability that can call in a Gladiator or a Gladius card. We've talked about this on the channel previously, but now we're starting to see some visuals. So people's initial take was, oh, wow, so it's going to be a Fire Summoner. Like, fire is going to benefit. Who are, who are the best fire gladius cards? What are some of these combinations that we can run? But then, late at night, Cryptomancer in the Discord dropped this image right here. Now, a couple things to note. You can obviously see some monsters you've never seen before. We're not going to get into that right now. We're going to wait to see all the stats combined before we start talking about the monsters. But... We are going to talk about this summoner right here. It's a dragon summoner. Now, I must say, right, as always, this is their current plans. Up until the day this gets released, these reward cards get released, this can be changed. So nothing I show you right now is necessarily going to be final. However, generally things don't change too much. And there's some key things we can draw from this. First of all, it's pretty clear now that each splinter is going to get its own summoner. Right? We know there's going to be one for fire. We now know there's going to be one for dragon. Seems pretty clear that every, you know, it, it's not just going to be fire and dragon, right? I think at this point, it's safe to say that everyone's going to get one. And that's really important. Because that means that all of the Gladius cards are now going to be on the table. Second thing, it's not just the conscript ability, which we see right here, the one that looks like a gladiator. Good image for it. it also offers things like plus one speed. So there are going to be other things alongside the Gladius ability. In my previous uh, videos where I talked about some of the Gladiator cards or the Gladius cards, I mentioned that I thought it was pretty likely that it was only going to be this ability and therefore you were going to have to make a decision based on do I want to forego you know, putting in a summoner that gives something to all of my cards for the ability to play a particular card. Right, So when you're looking at the Gladius cards, you have to think about cards that are going to be no-brainers to use in a specific context. But it seems like, there, you know, here's plus one speed. I know there were conversations with the Fire Summoner that this was going to be the whip of some sort, was going to be something about taking away shield, whether that be a shatter or whether it be a rust or whatever it is. So these are going to be these summoners are going to be a little more dynamic than you know maybe I at least originally thought. The last thing we can gather from this is that these cards are most likely going to be rare. And why is that really important? That's important because these are going to be soulbound reward cards. So we're going to have to earn these via playing. You're not going to be able to buy these from the secondary market. You're only going to be able to earn them from chests. So 
we basically know that to play with a max level card, you're going to need 115 of them. This is going to create some really fun times. I'm going to make a separate video talking about the Soulbound reward cards. But this is going to make some really fun things where, you know, you're opening the chest and you need to get that last summoner. Or, you know, you're building up the summoner of the one you don't want. So then all of a sudden you have to start testing that one. Um, you know, I, I think this dynamics, I'm not going to get all into it now. It needs its own video, but I'm excited for some of those dynamics. How do I know that it's rare? So this is a level six, right? And you can see an epics being played at level five, which is the max. Um, first of all, this card is one of the new cards it looks like. And this card looks sick. Uh, inspire, strengthen, speed with tons of hit points. Looks like just a, it's a sort of re reworked version of Brownie, right? Brownie was really fast, didn't have a ton of health. This seems a little slow, but has a ton of health. Um, it reminds me of the, the card in death. There's a, there's a death card that's pretty similar uh, to this. It doesn't have the speed though, but it does have strength and, and inspire. Um, this card is a new ability. I don't know if we know what this one does yet. Um, but basically, you know, level five, which is the max you can play with a level six rare. Um, level six rare with a level six rare. Level eight common is the max you can play with a level six rare. So that's sort of my guess, right? I think they were testing some of these new cards and they would have done it at the max levels, right? Like, I don't think this is an epic, um, a maxed out epic, because I feel like these also would have then been maxed out. And this isn't a common, obviously, because you wouldn't be able to play these cards at this level. And legendaries don't get to level six. So it's either a rare or an epic. And I think it's gonna end up being a rare, um, you know, for the reason I said. These levels perfectly line up with this card being a rare. Okay, that was it. Again, you know, these could obviously change. Um, we're not gonna know for certain until they get released but we were able to gather some information uh, about their current plans from this drop. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna hold it here. Exciting times ahead. I cannot wait for them to actually release this card. Uh, it's going to be a ton of fun, or sorry, these cards. Uh, it's going to be a ton of fun to start using these. Um, and you know, Expect a ton of content uh, as soon as they come out. All right, that'll do it for me. Um, you know, hope you guys are enjoying the game. Seems like, you know, we've got some exciting news. Um, it seems like, um, you know, exciting times are ahead. Hopefully we've, uh, you know, peaked or hit the tro of sort of sadness in the game. And uh, we are on an upswing, but we'll see. Okay. Again, if you are new here, please take a second to subscribe to the channel, like the video, love you guys, I'll talk to you soon, see you around the game.